Oh, hi, I'm a smart investor. I dare say that because I understand the cryptocurrency markets and I am up to date on every new development, fintech and blockchain ecosystem. All because I watch the Inside Blockchain Show on Crypto TV Plus. Every Monday morning, Crypto TV Plus brings you news headlines of top stories, interview with an expert and give you detailed market analysis to enable you make the right business moves. Now you too can become a smart investor if you don't miss it. The Inside Blockchain Show, only on Crypto TV Plus. Are you there? It's your boy. No, sorry. It's your daddy, Mr. Macaroni. Keep watching Crypto TV Plus if you want to be doing well, especially. You get me now? Hi. You are doing well. It's another Monday morning. Hello and welcome to the program. This is Inside Blockchain Live on Crypto TV Plus. My name is Faith Aquari, holding it down for Bobby Ayandike. Crypto gaming is a hot topic now in the world where blockchain technology is disrupting many industries. In a general sense, a gaming guild is a group of game players who support each other in game and out of the game as a community. They are an alliance in the game space and are also referred to as clans. The traditional concept of gaming guilds has recently extended to play to earn games. Among other benefits, crypto gaming guilds provide opportunities for those who want to try play to earn games but find the cost of entry too high. Today, we'll be exploring how you can make your first $2,000 playing games with Gimmick Guild. Let's go on this quick short break. When we come back, I'll be introducing my guest and delving into the discussion of today. Yes. Imagine being able to play your favorite game and earn real money in the process. But first, what is gaming? Gaming is the act of practice of playing games. I guess we all know that, right? Hello and welcome to Learn and Earn with Anna Thorne. The gaming industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. Mind-blowing. In fact, do you know the gaming industry makes more revenue annually than both the music and the movies industry put together? Hey guys, welcome into the Metaverse on Crypto TV Plus. In today's video, we're going to be taking a portal into the Nakaverse and explore it a bit. The name Nakamoto will never be erased from the history of tech revolution on Earth, which brings me to the Metaverse project we'll be talking about today, Nakamoto Games. Nakamoto Games is a play-to-earn gaming platform offering different gaming experiences for gamers as well as developers. It's more or less like a Metaverse that will allow gamers to have access to lots and lots of games on the platform, while developers Hello, my name is Chiki and I'm the boy of the bullet. Keep watching Crypto TV Plus. Don't touch that die. Peace. Welcome back. Before I went on the break, I talked about how you can make money off a gimmick guild. And I'm excited to let you know that our guest joining us virtually is no other than the CEO of Gimmick Guild, who is also a product developer and designer, Ukeme Okuku. How are you doing today? Um, thank you very much. I'm doing great. Um, congratulations on your recent Laudable Milestone as one of the projects selected by Binance Lab Global Incubation Program. Um, for those that don't know, 500 applied for it, 75 got to the interview stage, 14 were selected, and one company from Africa emerged, Gamic Guild, to the moon. I'm curious, how does that make you feel? Um, I feel great, um, but there's a lot of pressure having to represent the whole continent of Africa. But I appreciate the um, opportunity that has been given to us and we'll do our best to represent the continent. Amazing, amazing stuff. So tell me, what is Gamic Guild? Um, Gamic Guild is basically a platform that provides users with a diverse catalog of games, um, focused on play to end games strictly. Okay. Okay, beautiful. So great, um, crypto gaming guilds come with different visions. Why some want to amass, you know, millions of dollars through play to earn gaming. Others want to build strong communities that pr produce the best alpha and ultimately the best projects. So what specific purpose or goal would you say a gaming guild is set to achieve? Um, we are actually trying to um, bring Africans and probably you could say the whole continent into the Web3 space and also making it um, easy for people to access the um, cryptocurrency um, 
ecosystem and like you previously mentioned there are a lot of um, barriers to entry when it comes to play to end games and we are just there um to make it easy so our dream is actually to onboard a lot of africans into to play to end space all right so if you are like talking to a beginner or someone that has not heard about gaming guild or doesn't know what it is or how to start off how would you you know advise the person to start what's the first step to starting on gaming guild um it's actually really easy um so step one would be um to join our community on discord um our link is actually available on our website which is gaming.gg gaming spelled g-a-m-i-c um, dot gg go to our website um you click on the join discord button um it takes you to a platform where you download the um, discord app and then after that you go to the apply channel um click on apply and then you read the information offered to you they clearly and the next step would be for you to get into the interview role. So interview role is basically where you get to understand how the um, community works and how the games actually work. And then after that, you download your games, start playing, um, and that's it. So the more you play, the more you win, the more you earn. Okay, so you can see that this is beginner-friendly, beginner, beginner friendly, right? Yes, yes. So um, we actually have a lot of, of community guardians in the community that can help you put you through. So just in case you don't like understand or get what's happening, they just call the attention of um, the community. The community is actually really helpful. Um, people are there to guide you through the whole process and they are happy to have you join the community. Okay, thank you. I want you to extensively talk to me about how, you know, because more and more people have gained interest in this gaming guild and its demand is gradually increasing. So help me outline some of the user benefits of Gimmick Guild. I want you to help me extensively outline them. Uh, so with Gaming Guild, um, we don't just provide you NFT to actually have access to these games. Um, we provide you with a community that shares the same interests as you and um, which you are a gamer. And we also produce, uh, provide you with um, access to educational content. So when we introduce new games into the guild, and we get to show you, um, give you tutorials on how to play those games, how to improve your strategies, and basically how to help you um, increase your earnings in the ecosystem. So we don't just provide you with assets for you to start playing. We provide you with educational content and also um, the environment for you to be able to prosper and grow in the gaming space. Oh, beautiful. I'm um, talking about community. It says something about community. And, and we know that in this volatile and very sensitive space, building a community, you know, people that believe in a certain, you know, a certain project is a little bit difficult. How did you come about it? How were you able to build this community to what it is right now? Uh, building the community for gaming hasn't been much of an issue because, first of all, we Africans, we love playing games. Um, based on the statistics um, in businesses that are released a few weeks back, and we have over 41 million gamers in just Nigeria as a whole. Um, so we are actually have a, a community of gamers spread across the country and the continent. So it was actually easy. You're basically just telling the user to keep doing what they're doing, which is playing game and having fun. And by this time, we're about to be paying them for that. Um, so that actually helped us with recruiting people. And then... Uh, what we've actually been doing mostly is just giving exposure to the brand and what we are trying to achieve. And then um, people have been very, very accepting of the idea of joining the gaming queue and actually also playing play to end games. Beautiful. Um, if you're just joining in, we just finished, you know, the first half of, you know, today's discussion. You have not missed so much. I'll be going on a quick short break. When I come back, I'll be going extensively into the discussion and be talking more about GameFi and play to earn opportunities. Don't go anywhere, stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, guys. Welcome into the Metaverse on Crypto TV Plus. In today's video, we're going to be taking a portal into the Taraverse. Follow me. Taraverse is a cross-chain platform metaverse island of multiple play-to-earn games, which allows players all over the world to socialize, earn, and enjoy a variety of games on all devices. Here are the elements of Taraverse. First, we have DeFi and NFTs. Players will be able to collect different NFTs to build, stake, and... Hello, my name is Chiki, and I'm the boy of the bullet. Keep watching Crypto TV Plus. Don't touch that, that. Peace. Welcome back. You're still watching Inside Blockchain. Um, I'm still here with Mr. Okuko. How are you doing? 
I'm doing great. Thanks for asking one more time. All right. So, game fire and play to earn opportunities are changing the gaming industry, and many gaming guilds are at the forefront to offer such opportunities. With that said, what are some notable features of the gaming guild that will attract and convert new users to becoming guild members? Um, we actually have um, a lot of things in the works um, that I can actually share right now, but we are going to be working to make it easy for anyone to be able to start um, their play to earn journey. I'm um, just click away. Um, I'm very big on user experience, and we've actually identified that as one of the um, biggest hurdles for non crypto natives to actually come into the play to end space. Um, so we are building tools to actually make it easy for people to come. But currently, we are making it easy by providing people um, educational content and also guiding them through the process of um, getting into play to end. All right. So the utility that exists between non-fungible tokens, that's the NFTs and GameFi, cannot be overemphasized. In light of this, is there any plan, you know, short or long term, to infuse gaming into the NFT space on this platform? Gaming guilds live and breed NFTs, so specifically in-game assets. Um, the purpose of our platform is to actually make it easy for um, gamers to have access to um, these NFTs. So we are going to be having a bunch of nfts um as serve as a company we are purchasing a lot of in-game assets too um we'll be launching our own nft marketplace for in-game assets too um so we are basically hmm. going to be an ecosystem of that is just providing nfts to users who need assets to it um can you give us a hint about what your nft will be like what the features will be like what its use case will be just give us a little bit of a hint um it's going to be a utility nft definitely okay uh with the recent selection by binance lab what is the future of gimmick guild what should the community be expecting from gimmick guild at this point um a lot of exciting products are in the world um we'll be starting which will be going live um august and we're also hosting the world's first play to end tournament in nigeria um in august um, which will be having our scholars from across the continent and across the country come to an arena and actually um, play and battle for a uh, prize money. Um, this is actually us trying to infuse um, esports and, and play to end together to kind of like create more um, awareness when it comes to play to end to the country of Africa because Africa has actually been behind when it comes to adoption of um, new innovations like this. Um, Southeast Asia, play to end is really huge. Um, in Nigeria right now, or in Africa, you could say um, you could count the number of guilds that are actually present in the market. Um, we are actually less than five, so you could basically count it with um, one hand. Um, so we are basically going to be pushing the ecosystem, training new people to actually be able to start their own guild and also um, do the necessary deeds that has to be done to push um, play to end as a normal thing in Africa. We are trying to normalize it. Wonderful stuff. Um, looking at people that do not really have an idea, you know, of what blockchain in itself is, and I, I'm sure you're trying to break barriers, you're trying to break the walls, you know, across all borders. So how do you plan to reach those, you know, those people, those um, demography of people that do not really, you know, have the idea of what the blockchain, you know, the cryptocurrency technology is all about? Because I feel like Gaming Guild should be more about, you know, just the immediate environment of the blockchain environment. So how do you plan to move out to those people? So um, I actually think um, the users should know that what they are using is based on the blockchain, but they don't necessarily have to know how it works. Um, just like currently how mm. a lot of people use email, but they don't know how emails work. A lot of people use their mobile phones, make phone calls, but they don't know how um, the sound they make here is being transferred to someone Phone about works. Yes. so as long as it works um it works um, so our goal is actually on what we are actually pushing is more on user experience because that's what helps adoption so if you make it easy for someone who is using instagram to switch from instagram to um your web3 product um then you've actually gotten the mainstream market and um, for people who, like us who are actually web3 natives and we are very, very used to connecting your MetaMax to a platform and jumping from one other platform to switch or bridge your token. But we don't want users to actually go through that because what we want to do is make it as easy as possible for them to access the services. So by making it user-friendly, and that actually takes the hurdles away. 
and we think that's where it's going to push adoption with the mainstream okay um finally um before we go on another quick short break uh we are seeing a lot of spin-offs in the game fire or play to earn industry we are seeing move to earn now we're seeing adult team projects spring up as you know sex in finance where do you think we are actually heading what are your good projections one of the amazing thing about the cryptocurrency space and blockchain space is that we are still in the experimental phase um so a lot of people are experimenting with different concepts different projects um, different solutions um, but I think the best concept will always be what stays and they will get the most adoption um, so something like gaming has actually been something that we as human have been doing since the inception of time um, since when we came onto this planet um, moving there's actually been another thing and I actually see a move to end pushing um, keeping us like more health conscious um, and other whatever to end a project that are out there, um, I think the best ones would be the one that would be here in the next five, ten years. Um, so everyone is open to start their yes, learn to end and also stream to end. All right. Um, let's go on this quick short break. When we come back, we'll be asking some few questions before we wrap it up. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Have you seen those NFTs with molten chops, earrings, pig shades, crazy hair, sometimes a hoodie and other features? They are called CryptoPunks and we'll be exploring this NFT project. CryptoPunks are NFT collections on the Ethereum blockchain. The project was launched in June 2017 by the Lava Lab Studio, a two-person team consisting of Canadian software developers Matt Hall and John Watkinson. The experimental project was inspired by the London punk scenes, the cyberpunk movement and electronic music art Daft Punk. There are 10,000 unique CryptoPunks, male and female inclusive, all of which are made digitally scarce through the use of blockchain technology. Each one was algorithmically generated through computer code and thus, no two characters are exactly alike, with some traits being more rare than others. They inspired a rising tide of profile picture NFT sets from Bored APH Club to Doodoo's and plenty more, each of which only reinforces the influence and legacy of the source project. CryptoPunks have some high profile owners such as rapper Jay-Z, YouTube personality Logan Paul, and tennis champion Serena Williams. While it's possible to view all of the CryptoPunks on OpenSea, the leading secondary marketplace for NFTs, you can only purchase them through Lava Labs website. They usually sell for between $350,000 to $500,000, though some fetch millions. So make sure you have enough to join the punk creep. Think NFTs. Anathon, redefining learning. Hello, my name is Chiki and I'm the boy of the bullet. Keep watching Crypto TV Plus. Don't touch that dial. Peace. Of course, the world is evolving and the blockchain technology is no exception. So if um, any project is coming up, it needs to keep upgrading, it needs to keep changing, it needs to keep working, you know, to make sure that the users, you know, are glued and interested in what the project has to offer. So what are, you know, the incentives that are going to be coming through with the project? What um, kind of upgrade? Is there going to be a coin coming up or a token? Or, you know, we already talked about the NFT but what are the upgrades that the community should be expecting from Gimmick Guild? Um, we have a lot of things like I previously mentioned in the works. And one of the things we are trying to do is we are trying to make sure we bring the decentralized part of blockchain um, to Gaming Guild because if you pay attention to the market, um, a lot of Gaming Guild are, should I say, operating more of like a monopoly, like monolith, a single um, project controlling over 200,000 gamers, um, which that is or that wasn't the vision Satoshi had when um, he wrote the Bitcoin white paper. Um, so one of the things we are trying to do is change that and decentralize it. And um, we also believe that smaller gaming community have better dynamics, um, both with the players and also with the managers. Um, so one of the products that we are going to be having out first um, would actually be a product to help um, push this um, narrative and also push this adoption of um, both gaming guilds and also decentralize the whole concept of um, gaming guild and 
another product that we'll be get putting out there is actually going to be helping empower people. And so you don't necessarily have to be a gamer for you to actually, um, should I say, make money or earn from this space. And you can actually be a manager managing a group of 30, 40 to 200 gamers, and then you also get to benefit. So um, that would actually expand the adoption rate and also expand the amount of people who can participate in this space. Because yes, gaming um, gaming is actually, if you pay attention to the demographics, skewed towards um, young people, probably under the age of 27. Um, but then we want to get even people who are at the age of 40 into this space too. Um, trying, the best way to actually do that is to provide them tools to actually participate without having to also be like the gamers. Okay, nice one. Um... Um, lastly, before you go, um, you know, a lot of people want to interact, want to talk to, you know, their loved ones and, you know, other people. Will Social 5 be implement implemented into the Gimmick Guild? Do you think people want to be there to interact? Would there be a space or a feature for that? Yes. Um, Social 5 is actually going to be a big part of um, Gimmick Guild um, because, like I mentioned, community, especially in this uh, space, is like everything. It's the bread and butter of every business in the space. So um, currently, our gamers in the community are making friends. Um, they are connecting, creating teams. And we actually are very happy to see that happen in our community. And we'll try as much as possible to expand that um, with our put ourselves as gaming guild and our sub guild. Um, so social fire is actually something that we are going to be integrating definitely into our space and also helping um, the gamers <clears throat> not have to move from um, different apps to be able to communicate to each other. If they can have all those services in one place, it makes their, their participation in the space way easier. <laughs> great stuff um thank you for joining us on today's episode of inside blockchain just before you go what should we, sh what should we be expecting from you um before you know the end of the year because we already know that gamer guild is already on its way to you know a lot more opportunities what should we be expecting from you also you should be expecting a product um which will be launching like i previously mentioned august and then you should be expecting um a lot of awareness campaigns and events. We'll be hosting a lot of events and would be happy to have anyone who is interested in learning more about um, gimmick, um, about play to end. And we are open to collaborate with more people. And you should be expecting a lot of awesome things from us. Nice one, nice one. And at that time, we should be expecting our tithes and offering from you because we obviously know that you already be, you know, one of the people that will be matching shoulders with Elon Musk, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you very much for joining us on today's episode. We had a lovely time with you and we learned a lot from how Gamer Guild has built from um, the starting stage to where it is now. And we hope and we pray that it gets more higher, gets more opportunities and become what it's supposed to be. If you're watching from Facebook, Twitter or YouTube and this is your first time on the show, follow us on all social media platforms at Crypto TV Plus. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. I am Faith Aquari and this is Inside Blockchain.